Welcome to Voice of the Nation. Today we're with Kun Pichai Naritapan, former Minister of the Energy Ministry. And now he's the Vice Chairman of Strategy Committee of Pure Thai Party, Economic Affairs. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับคุณดีนะสวัสดีครับวิทยาสวัสดีครับคุณดีที่ตาครับผม Really glad to meet you today because like. I checking the price right now, like eggs, pork, chicken, and another thing are coming like expressway, LPG gas, even the electric bills is on the way. It's coming and it's gonna coming for sure. I think like we start the new year with rising of cost of living. A lot of Thai people, especially me, are asking the same question that. What can the government help us? And should we start from ourselves by eating fish instead, or eat something else instead, like what mushroom? Hi, yeah, what? <laughs> Eggs. Like, like, it's going up too. Like the suggestion that Thai Prime Minister give mm -hmm. the advice for Thai people before. Should we do that? Hi. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me. The pleasure is all mine. And I uh, would like to congratulate you on this new program. Anyway, uh, if you recall before year's end, I have to make the forecast for this year, and it's not looking so good. The problem is Thailand economy has been uh, stay at the low level for a long time. The growth rate is really low. Uh, averagely, we only grow like one point something only. Less than two percent. So in the income of the people are we increase really slow. But at the moment we are facing with the inflation. The problem is the, the global inflation is high because of the uh, the growth rate of every country. Most of the country in the world recover from the the COVID. You know, like America, the uh, in the 2020 they have minus 3.5 percent. This year they have 5.6 percent, or in China they have that they in 2020 they have the growth rate of 2.3 percent, and 2021 they have the growth rate of 8 percent. Or Vietnam they have 2.9 percent growth rate, and then this last year they have like 2.56 percent. But Thailand, if you compare Thailand, Thailand in 2020 we only have minus 6.1 percent. We contract. I mean, this is very bad. You know? And then last year, 2021, we only maybe the golden estimate is maybe less than one percent. Not so. Now you can see why Thailand are suffering so much among this inflation because the income of people are less. Why? Why the the price of everything is going higher? That's really yeah, they start with the oil price. The oil price increase make inflation increase so much. In America, the, the inflation rate is like 6.8%, which is very, very high. So the tendency for US government to less late uh, in, in March is expected in March. And this, and they expect four times, to less late four times. So by the end of the year, probably they, we see 1% uh, uh, interest rate in US. So this is very dangerous for Thailand because our economy is still bad. And then our quality is very low, and we we face with massive debt in the public debt and in the household debt, and we have to face with the higher interest rate. Then people will be suffer even more. So now, when when the oil price getting higher, and then now electricity is getting higher this month, I think they they have they do charge more for the electric bill this this month, and then the LPG price will go up next month and in a stepping mm. st stepping um, price maybe they, they say that mm. anyway uh, the problem is that the oil price in the world is going up so high they break 81 dollar per barrel and the gas price also even higher they went up from 700 800 now 900 over 900 dollar now so uh, the, if if the general period listen to the Thai party he would have done better. You know why? Because we tell them that instead of using oil fund, he 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 should uh, 
reduce the tax on excise tax on oil price on diesel price. So if he reduce the excise tax on oil price, then the price of oil will be lower, and he doesn't need to put the oil fund to support the price of the diesel. Then he can use the money on oil fund to support the gas, so he doesn't need to raise up the the gas price, and that's that's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you recall, I have forecast eight point for this year. What will happen? And what will affect Thai people? So I hope mm -hmm. I, I can explain to you. First of all, mm -hmm. the first number one is like why last Omicron? They will mm -hmm. still be with us for for this year. So if if they cannot contain this, this year economy is going to be bad. Four percent wouldn't be achievable. I don't think so. I think two percent may be maximum. Mm -hmm. So if you might if you add you know less than one percent from last year and two percent for this year, we still contract. Over three percent from from 2020, you know, from minus six percent. I mean, if you add the calculation, of, and you can see that Thailand going nowhere, and we still in the minus territory. That's mm. that's my opinion. Second mm. is the inflation. Number two is inf inflation is gonna be high. You know, starting of the year, pork high, ch chicken mm. high, you know, egg high, LPG high, electricity high, oil high. You know. Everything is getting higher. I expect more than three percent inflation. They, they expect three percent since the, the end of last year. But I think, look at this number. I think it should be more. That, that's my opinion. And that lead to number three. The interest rate will be high, which is mm. a really big burden for Thailand. We have a massive debt in public debt and in household debt, and the, you know the bad debt in the financial system is get, going to get higher. We, we're going to see more bad debt, you know. And number four is the twin deficit. The twin deficit is, you know, we have the budget te deficit, massive budget deficit for two consecutive years. We have over a trillion debt in public debt for two consecutive years already. Yeah, and then we also have the uh, Korean account deficit too because of the tourism, you know, haven't come in for, because of the COVID. So we face this twin deficit, and maybe this year we are we still face the twin deficit if you're not allowed a visitor to to arrive in Thailand. That's that's what the, mm. that will be the problem. Mm -hmm. And the fifth is the budget mm. problem because we mm. due to the economy they they collect le less income for government. I mean less tax, all tax. I think last year we we. We haven't made the target, like maybe like 300 billion, you know. So mm. when you cannot collect enough but, uh, income, then your budget has to be less. And that, that will be a big problem because you have no money to stir up the economy also. The sixth is the, like I said, the massive debt, the public mm -hmm. debt, the, the household debt, even the loan shark debt is going to be higher and higher. And that will be a, a big problem mm. for Thailand. And then number seven is the, the we cannot find the growth engine for Thailand yet. Which, mm. what would be our future, right? We, we losing the high speed train to Laos, so we losing the electronic to, in, in, to Vietnam, and we losing the car industry to Indonesia. At this moment, Thailand have no future. <laughs> I hate to mm. say that, but it's, it seems to be true. And the, the, the last thing is the unemployment. I think we will see more and more unemployment. Uh, the government says 8.7, I mean, 800, 870,000, but in fact, it's like 4 million unemployment wow. already. Uh, and it, it will growing more and more. 470,000 of the student graduate this year will, won't find a job. That, that's a big mm. problem. This is like summary of what I, I hope is not taking you too long time. I just had to explain you the big picture. Yep. No, it's not at all. Mm, for, for the question is the question is like um, if government not do something to solve this 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 problem, do you think what the worst scenario for Thailand? I think we will declining more and people will suffer more. The income will be less and the debt will be more. We will face with the bankruptcy in many, many scale, that's my opinion. 
and it, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry to paint a really gloomy picture, but we have to tell the truth. If, if you recall, I talked about this for a long time, about the, the boiling fork trailing. The, 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 if you not adjust to the mm. new environment and you keep uh, thinking that everything is going to be okay, everything is going to be okay, after a while, it's just like a boiling fork. The water is boiling and the frog dies. You know, you put mm. what frog in the cold water, mm -hmm. they, 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 and then you start uh, the fire a little bit stronger, stronger, the frog adjust themselves, think, oh, it's okay, it's going to be okay, until the water boiling and then mm -hmm. the frog die. This is the theory in the economy. And then General Lope, you prosecute me on this issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't know that there's a boiling frog chili that existed. And I'm not just saying this only. The, the I think Nikkei Asia also write an article on this issue. They mm -hmm. say the Thailand economy, the disaster in slow motion, which is the Country. same as the boiling from, and then that's that's a that's a big problem. The, the problem is if you're looking back in the seven years, you know, you, 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 my, the past seven years, you see the the econ world economy is good. You have low interest rate. You have low inflation. We have low oil price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and low public debt. Yet, government cannot utilize to make the economy better. And now you are facing with the high inflation high interest rate, mm -hmm. you know, high oil price, public debt is so high. How can he cope with this situation mm -hmm. when it's much easier, much better situation, he still cannot utilize it to the best interest for Thailand. And that, that's a big problem that I have. You know, like last year alone, in 11, in 11 months, we, mm -hmm. we import oil mm -hmm. more than, uh, I mean, the, the, the cost of import is, 412 billion more than the year before. Mm -hmm. So it's, if you're looking back, you will see that, you know, when when the, when, when, when General Obama, you make the coup, the oil price is so high. But after mm -hmm. he, about 100, more than 100 dollar per barrel, after he make the coup, he's lucky mm -hmm. that the oil price coming down so much. It's like 40 and 50 dollar. We save at least 500, 600 billion a year. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. which is really, it's like a God given for him, but he cannot mm. utilize it to the best benefit. You know, if you look at the the oil price low, the the, the uh, Thailand safe on oil price is still bigger than the GDP growth of Thailand. <laughs> 500 right. billion, uh, 600 is like o over three, four percent. So you at least you should grow three, four percent a year from saving from the oil import, you know, but still. You mm -hmm. cannot utilize that. That that is the indicator easily that in the last seven years we we view on oil oil price coming down and also for tourism coming coming more, you know. But now mm -hmm. oil price getting higher, tourism dry up, so it's just like a karma view coming back to to general for you. I, and <laughs> and this, the sad thing is the karma will be entire people instead, and that's that's a big problem. So all right, the fortunes going. Sorry, Nina. And we are in the almost like the end of the spectrum of hitting the worst that we, we should have. So what what you suggest in case, for example, if anything else we can do? Yeah, I think we we government need to do many things at one time. He's, at, the, at this moment, they think like whenever there is something goes wrong or people complain. They, mm. they just start one thing. They have to think ahead. That, that's the problem. Uh, mm -hmm. If they're not thinking ahead and then they wait for the problem to arise and then they just solve it, we, we won't go anywhere. We will wait mm. for more more problem ahead. Uh, that's that. I'm very pessimistic. I'm, it's not because I'm, I'm the opposition, but the truth is if you're economists, you look in Thailand, you cannot see the future. What What is the light at the end of the tunnel? I, I mm. cannot see the light now. I think it's it's going to get worse and worse. You know, we we are not going to the the, the same level even be, be, before the COVID. At mm -hmm. the at before the level of the COVID, we still in a very really bad shape too. So <laughs> it's it's just like <laughs> what else for Thailand? I think they need to revise everything. They, I think they need to to find a new solution. They need to t change the way of thinking. They need to catch up with the world changing, just like the you know, like unicorn super app, mm -hmm. mega app. We 
Thailand doesn't have it. You know, like you, you look mm. at Indonesia, they have Gojek, they have Tokopedia, mm. they have Traveloka, they have a merging mm. between Gojek and and Tokopedia, mm-hmm. and and they, they they get the amount is eighteen billion US dollar for this merging. So suddenly the country can gain six hundred billion baht from from these two business. Mm-hmm. So you need in in the new world now you need to be smart. You need to create smart people. Mm-hmm. They, they smart a few smart people can make so much money. And government doesn't understand this. We we need to mm-hmm. encourage this new economy to grow. We cannot rely on the old economy now. You 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 start new industry. You hire people. I mean, no no one come to invest in Thailand as much mm-hmm. as before now. I think yeah. we we EEC is not going to work. So they they need to to create new way. You, then you need to change many things. Especially you need to need change platform for Thailand. We need to digitalization of the government. We need to reduce the size of government. We need to uh, reduce uh, spending on the defense budget. Ma- many things we have to do, you know. And, and, it, and thing, to be honest, Thai, uh, per Thai party, we already prepare for all this this policy, and we are ready. When whenever there is election, we will show mm-hmm. the platform what we are gonna do. I, I'm sure we we have the way. If you don't know the problem, you cannot solve the problem. So I mm-hmm. think at this moment, the government seem not to know any problem. They just wait for them to arise. But for, for per Thai, we foresee the problem before. So we try to tailor the new policy to cope with the problem ahead of time. Mm-hmm. And we have the new brunt of the uh, economic team that will cope with this situation. We are really certain of our own people. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But even if they, they do they do it, Excuse me. Can you hear me? I, I, I can hear. I'm sorry. I, I can hear you now. Mm-hmm. Okay. According to your advice, even if they do it, do you think how far can they can they tackle the problems? I you know, look into the history of the behavior. I, I'm not so sure they are able to tackle the problem because like I say, they they tackle problem like one at a time but at this moment thailand has so many problems you have to tackle Mm -hmm. many many problems at one time you have to have a good strong team in order to cope with many problems see at this moment you are stuck you know like in many countries just like vietnam Mm -hmm. when they're faced with the covid they also have the good direction of that country to go into electronic Mm -hmm. and high-tech gadget and many things right but Thailand, when we, we face with problem, we always you know, consume with the problem like COVID. And we don't do anything else. And that, mm. that's the problem. And, and when we wake up, the world is already go mm. so far. But Thailand still, you know, stuck in, in the same place and go nowhere. And that, that's just the problem. I think we, we need to find the administrator that is more dynamic, more, more business-like, more encouraging. That's, that's my mm. opinion. That's his on it. Even if he can change, it's okay. But I, I don't think Kun Bayut can change. He still asks people. He have a good vision, though. He asks people to less two chicken, and now the egg, the, the price of egg is getting higher. So <laughs> that's probably the best vision he had ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see, Kun Bayut. Yeah. Okay. Too bad we have a very small limit time for Kun Bayut. Yeah. I, I, oh, I, I, just, I thought we just start to speak because I, I think I'm the one who speak alone. <laughs> Sorry to take away all That's your time. all right. That's okay. That's good. I think like the um, information that you gave us today is very mm-hmm. useful. And I think like people can prepare for mm-hmm. what is going to happen for sure. So thank you for being here. And maybe like joy with our show, our program next time. Could be Thai. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. Thank you. Have Bye. a good day. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.